Here are some other real thoughts that they had to share on reality TV. Isn't ABC just a high class pimp? My favorite reality show is probably The Bachelor. Why? <laughs> um, I just love watching the 25 girls competing for the one guy. It gets pretty funny. They get a little bit catty. It's a good time. I think there's tons of game playing on reality TV just like there is in the real world. On The Bachelor, I just could not believe it when Alex had told Trista that, that she was the one that he was going to pick. And just like in the real world, she slept with him. And then he turns out picking the other person who he doesn't even continue a relationship with after the show. Survivor is like finished. It's played out. The first season was good and now it's like... It's called réchauffé in French, like reheated. On every show they say, at the end, they're like, oh, we're down to the final rose ceremony. And they say, oh yes, and I find myself, I could actually be falling for more than one person. I'm actually falling in love with more than one person. I don't, I never thought this could happen. I mean, come on, they don't all, and then, then suddenly, they're, they're all like emotionally like, like struggling to figure out which one they want. But at the end of the show, they're like, yeah, I knew all along that you were the one. <laughs> That's so fake. It's very fake. There's always a twist on all the reality shows, and they just want to see what the reaction will be, not only of the people on the show, but the people watching. For instance, on Big Brother, they had the twist that they brought in everyone's ex-significant other. And on Joe Millionaire, they had the twist of you either pick the million or you pick Joe. I think that we have seen um, a couple contestants on The Bachelor that have been a little wacko. And I don't think that her eval, her psychological eval, or their psychological evals were very accurate. I think it is. I think the media releases what information they want to release. And I think the show did a great job of getting a story out there and making people believe that it was what actually was happening when it really wasn't and they just fed the media information. So I think that is reality. The media is always feeding us information and we choose to believe it. Yeah, well, it's like a manufactured reality. I mean, it's not, you can't say it's true reality. It's not like two people walking down the road not knowing the camera's on them. They do act differently with the camera on them, but. Right. But yeah, to an extent, it's, I mean, it's what really happened, so. One of the reasons why we're all getting into reality TV is that when Real World came along, a lot of us were past the age to audition and get onto the show. And now it, these are shows that, that we can get on. And I think that's one of the reasons why everyone is so into reality TV and being a part of it. Because she was fabulous. She was absolutely fabulous. A true rock star. It was like a rock star on heels. Oh, absolutely. She was just, she would play tennis and she would have spiked heels on and she was just crazy and spunky and fun. We loved her. Lots of personality. Yeah, tons of personality. And actually, for a while after the show, we were, everything was, that's Tina Fabulous. It was our new adjective. <laughs> I liked her. She was smart, witty, and uh, pretty much all around fabulous. Probably the first season, if you watch the real world, New York, they were still, you know, it was regular people, you know. You know, you did have people that were going after certain careers, but they were kind of ordinary, whereas the shows now have become, you know, it's the pretty face, you know, the pretty body, you know, and that's what they're all about, which really aren't real people. They're just people that are segueing into, you know, wanting to be in Hollywood. Reality TV is the new game show. We're all watching it. It's one big competition. We always like to see who wins at the end. It's in race, you have these people traveling around the world, but the thing is they're always with someone that they have some kind of bond with. And like I was saying earlier, usually if you have two people that have some kind of bond, you're going to see more friction <laughs> than you would see with people that don't. You know, it's amazing the people that are your best friends sometimes are the ones that you end up having the worst arguments with. It's getting kind of far-fetched now when they're they're putting the home, the heterosexuals on and they're trying to find a heterosexual mate, but they have the homosexuals. Not that it matters, they have the homosexuals mixed in also. I think that's, that's getting a little bit not reality. The people that you never hear from anymore that were on these reality shows, I think those are more the real people. The people that end up making careers out of these reality shows, you gotta think, you know, well, you know, how real is that? I think it's, uh, it's okay to a certain degree, but I really don't, I don't really think it's a good direction for TV to be going in. I think reality TV is going to, it's going to meet its end at one point or another, and then they're just going to have to come up with the next big thing. I think that it's getting to the point where they're just 
overrunning, totally overplaying it. Everyone seems to enjoy it, although I think it's going out of its heyday. I'm sure it'll die out sometime and then they'll run out of fresh ideas and run out of fresh faces, but for the time being, it's just, you know, it's just entertainment. As much though as I can like sit here and judge these shows, I do watch them. I, I, my roommates and I sit around and watch them all the time. <laughs> I don't know why. He was cute also, you know, they were charmed by his looks and his cash. But yeah, but isn't that with all women? <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> Not at all. Some women are different. It's just these morons that audition to be on these dumbass shows. <laughs> Those type of women. <laughs> what do you think, Eric? I think, uh, I don't really know. I didn't really, I didn't watch Joe Millionaire. It's not a big reality TV buff. Joe is sexy though. And he probably is a really nice guy. We should all treat him as a human being. <laughs> That's so corny, don't you? He supports lying to America. I don't. I'd prefer real reality. Just, just Fox viewers. Jeez, Ivan. I had to come over there and lick your cheek.